Hey everyone, welcome back to another design tutorial in Adobe XD. And today we'll be making these amazing pull to refresh animations for applications inside Adobe XD. My favorite one is the one on the right, which basically is very snappy and it kind of gives this bouncing effect as well. Let me know in the comments below, which is your favorite animation and why. I'm now also on Instagram, so don't forget to follow me there at Puneet Chavla Official for daily cool updates. Now let's first draw a simple artboard. I'll just draw a simple square artboard, not too big. For right now, I'm not going to use any iPhone mockups or anything. I'll draw a simple rectangle right like this and I'll probably give it a curved uh, border, so about 24. Oops. <laughs> That's not curved. I'll probably curve the border by giving it the border radius of 80 pixels on the right here. Once I have something like this, I will change the color here from this white to a, a watery or this sky blue right here. Um, it's not perfect, but it'll do for now. Now's the time to make waves. To make the waves of the water, click on E on your keyboard and drag out to make a basic circle like this. Remove the border from the circle and give it a slightly darker blue than what we've used here. So I'll probably just pick up this blue and maybe make it slightly darker like this. Once I have a slightly darker blue, what I'm going to do is create another circle, just copy and paste this circle and one more circle. So we'll need three circles for this effect. Now these two circles on the top, I will overlap. So it basically is at the center of this circle like this and choose both of these circles and group them together. Now, what I want you to do is drag this group to the center of this circle or maybe slightly below the center of this bottom circle. Select everything right here. On the top right, there's an option of subtract. I want you to click on that while everything is selected. And as you can see, now we have this kind of moon-like shape. I can always rotate it to make it a little more wave-like. And what I'm going to do is basically put it here and just duplicate this by holding Option or Alt and duplicating it, the artboard, and just duplicate it multiple times so that you have this wave effect. Once you have a row of these waves, what I'm going to do is group these together so that you can easily duplicate this again. And in this case, what I'm going to do is probably change the shade by reducing the opacity right here like this. And also maybe I'll make this slightly bigger because now it's going towards the back and waves at the back might look slightly bigger. Now, next thing what I'll do is select the waves at the back as well as this rectangle, right click over this rectangle and click mask with shape. As you can see, now it's masked with the shape and it's not overlapping outside the shape. One more thing that I'll need to do is, again, duplicate this rectangle, remove the borders and give this maybe a white fill, something like this. Make sure that it's at the back of this rectangle. Looking pretty cool. Now I'll bring this blue rectangle to the top here and make sure that the blue rectangle is above these waves as well. For the sake of convenience, I will also remove the borders for now. You can basically change it later on, but I'll remove the border radius so that it's a slightly more simplified version. I will also drop in this simple little boat that I downloaded from Freepik and make sure that it's behind everything in between these waves. You can do that by just pasting it inside this mask right here and making sure that it's behind everything else like this looking really, really good. Now I'll make sure that both the rectangles overlap and the next thing will be to actually animate everything. So I'll click on this artboard and say Command D or Control D to duplicate it. Once I have duplicated this artboard, what I'll do is drag down this blue color right here till the end of these waves like this. And in this case, what I'm gonna do is grab the first group, which is the first layer at the top, group 25. I'll open this group on the layers panel on the left and I'll open each subtraction by clicking on this icon here. And under this, there is another group. It might seem complex, but it's going to be super simple. What I'm going to do is select that group. And on the right, there is this rotate option. What I'll do is just say 360. And what I'm going to do is copy this 360 value and basically copy that value onto each one of these groups under these subtractions right here. So basically we're giving a 360 rotation to all these waves 
or the subtraction of these waves to make them look as if they're actually flowing through water. For the second group, which is basically the waves behind the big ones in the front, I will open this group up and under each subtraction, I'll open this group, select on these groups and rather than saying 360, say minus and just paste the 360 here. So each of these waves will be flowing in the opposite direction or at the back to give it that flowing or that parallax effect. I know it's not scientifically correct, but it's, but it's almost perfect. Now that I've done that for each of these, what I can do is just copy the first artboard again to the right to basically reverse the animation altogether. Make sure that this blue rectangle has the same Y value as this rectangle in the first artboard here. I'll just copy the values and paste it here. So the blue is basically shifted down a little bit. And as you can see, all these will be zero degrees in rotation as well. So it basically flows back. Go to prototype and click on this little blue rectangle here. Drag this arrow to the second artboard. Click on drag and click on auto animate. Make sure auto animate is on and easing should be something like snap. For the second blue one here as well, for the second artboard, we will click on the artboard itself and go to this arrow, drag it out to the third artboard. Instead of drag, say time under the trigger and delay should be um, zero is good and ease in out two seconds looking really good. If I click on the first artboard, click on play preview here, and drag this blue one right here, see how it animates, and it, it makes these really, really cool waves. Depends on the angle of the, uh, angle of the circles in this artboard, you can experiment and make those circles different sizes and make it look even more cool. For the second style or second animation here, I'm gonna make this rectangle a little smaller and basically paste another rectangle which is slightly bigger right here and that is how i get that purple border effect right here but of course if you're using a mock-up you can do it slightly differently but i'm doing it this way right here looking pretty good till now now this one is pretty pretty easy what i'm gonna do is click on this smaller rectangle double click on it so that i can now see these little anchor points on the left and right and I'm gonna add four anchor points in the middle. So two, which are really close together in the middle, and then one each on each of the sides here. So I'll basically, I can drag it out and place them in the center. So it's perfectly placed in the center, looking really good. And that's about it. I'll click on this artboard and Command D or Control D to duplicate it. So in this case, what I'm gonna do is first of all, single click and drag out one of these anchor points on the top to make this rectangle slightly smaller, if not a lot. Then what I'm gonna do is double click on this rectangle and now I'll not fiddle with these two ones, I'll not fiddle with these two anchor points on the extreme edges, but the ones in the middle. So what I'll do is the one on the left, I'll just drag out to the right like this and one on the right, I'm gonna drag out to the left and see how this is basically overlapping with each other right here. And I'll try to make it as perfectly aligned as possible, make it visually aligned as much as possible. Also, what I'm gonna do is now double click on these right here on these anchor points, and you'll be able to basically drag each of these handles out to make it more circular in nature. You just have to experiment with each of these and make sure that it, it's more or less a circle or it looks like a circle in this case. Once you have something that you're satisfied with, make sure that you adjust the rectangle, maybe drag it towards the bottom a little bit also. Now to give it that extra touch, I'm going to basically copy in this little loader SVG that I've downloaded. Again, all the resources will be in the description so that you can download them easily. I'm gonna place this and I'm gonna place this in the center. And as you can see, this loader is 345 degrees rotated. What I'll do is copy this loader from here to here. First of all, I'll bring it down a little bit like this, uh, reduce the rotation to zero here, and also reduce the opacity of this circle to zero again. We will also duplicate the second artboard to make a third artboard and rotate this to maybe minus 360 degrees so that it rotates 
anti-clockwise in this case, or you can just ro make it rotate clockwise, whatever you like. Now, ra rather than dragging out this white rectangle here for the prototype, I'll draw an extra rectangle here, maybe place it right above this rectangle and reduce the opacity to zero. Do the same for the second artboard and the third artboard. Make sure it's everywhere on all these artboards. And in the second artboard, drag this invisible rectangle down quite a bit. That's about it. And artboard six, what I'm gonna do is click on prototype, click on this rectangle here and drag it out to the second artboard. Click on drag and ease in out is fine. For the second artboard, I'll click on it and drag this arrow to the second art, third artboard actually, and say time trigger zero seconds, ease in out and two seconds for duration. And to make it come full circle, I'll click on this last artboard and make it come to the first artboard by dragging this arrow out here, saying time trigger zero seconds, ease in out two seconds. If I click on the first artboard and click on play preview, I will drag out this invisible rectangle and see how it basically comes full circle and it comes back just like that. You can make it much faster like I've done in the original design. I hope you liked this video. If you did, subscribe to my channel. That really helps me out a lot. Also like this video if you did. I will see you every Monday and Thursday, same time. God bless.